Hey guys, welcome to my first review of a show. Um, I'm doing Insecure, as you can see by the title. This is season four, episode one, low-key feeling myself. And I'll be looking down because I did take notes on my handy dandy iPad, okay? But can y'all believe that this show is back? <laughs> you see my nails? Y'all know, we on the quarantine, okay? And I want the people that gotta get my nails done every two weeks. So don't be coming for me. Okay, but anyway. Y'all, I didn't think we was ever going to get a new episode, a new season of Insecure. But <laughs> here we are. And here we go. So the episode starts off kind of weird. You know, like, I'm like, okay, what the heck? You see the setting of, um, I forgot what you call it. It's like the Black Arts District of Cali or LA. And... They are basically, it looks like it's just shut down, like nothing is happening. And then it pans to um, Issa saying she don't fuck with Molly no more. I was just like, wait, wait, like, can y'all reverse? Like, I literally was sitting there like, I don't remember at the end of last season them beefing. So I didn't understand. So I needed them to, you know, elaborate because them two are good Judy's. Um, so then it does rewind back to four months prior, and this is before the block party. Um, and I watched this earlier. I didn't do lesson plans for my students, so and I got to get used to doing reviews. So bear with me. So um, it jumps back to four months, and Molly comes over for East and hers Sunday yoga sessions where they get lead and they do yoga and Issa just seems very happy like this is the happiest I've seen Issa since the series started like um basically it was a line in there that said put out the energy you want back and Issa was just like you know she may not have shit but she's happy okay she she ain't got nothing no job no man nothing but guess what she's happy because happiness is internal so I'm not going in any particular order. Um, I'm probably going to go by character this time. And then I'll try to do kind of in sequence of events on episode two. I'm just testing some things out. So I'm going to start off with Molly. <sighs> she is exhausting. She's always been exhausting. She's very self-righteous. And when she does things, it's okay. But when everybody else does something, oh my God, like you're like why would you do that like but we'll get to that so it pans to molly on a date with andrew andrew look a little dear for him but she's at the bowling alley they're bowling they're flirting they kissing being wrong and um another thing about molly when Issa and molly were shopping and Issa just stepped up her fashion game this season but Issa is taking back stuff because you know we ain't got the goods like that you know she broke um molly just kind of seemed off to me so i don't know if it was just me but when Issa was saying how she has smaller sponsors you know like the little chicken shack this that and the other Molly was just kind of like, uh, oh, congratulations. Like, to me, it just felt fake. Like, as my best friend, I don't care if I said I got an endorsement from God dang John John Chicka Shack. You better be excited for me because I got that sponsor. And you are my best friend. Like, I just didn't feel like Molly was happy for her. Like, and I kind of got that since the whole episode. Um, Then another thing with Molly she's dating andrew but andrew does reveal to her that he is seeing other people molly doesn't like this she doesn't rock with that response and she tries to play it off like oh he, 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 he. yeah i'm dating other people too but she's not like she's really feeling andrew and so she feels some type of way because he's dating other people yeah that's a catch 22 because i feel like it's so okay. if you, if y'all have those boundaries set in the beginning like hey we're we're still dating other people that person know about that person it ain't no hiding and everybody knows about everybody then i think y'all are good but when you're trying to hide it i don't think that's cool so molly get your stick out your hands i also saw like it kind of panned when 
um, when they were at the mixer and Issa um, thanked Condola, Molly's face kind of did a thing. Like, oh, she thanked her, but not me. And maybe I'm just, because I'm on edge with Molly, that I'm peeking, peeping everything she does um, throughout this episode. But she kind of felt, I guess, felt some type of way because Issa didn't, you know, say, oh, thank you to my best friend. But, you know, Molly, get over yourself. And at the end of the episode, Molly does something else. But I'm gonna I'm gonna circle back around to that because we gotta get through these other details first, and then we'll have the debate whether Molly is wrong, and we can start to see why Issa said I don't f with Molly. So let's go to Issa, okay? So Issa sitting down with Condola, you know, met Condola through Tiffany, and um, discussing the block party details. Um, and then all of a sudden, this 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 whole episode it, it turns into a a soft porn. Like it's it's gonna bust down by by little chunky man, okay? But and it was so funny because he swore he was just busting down, like he was giving her everything he got, and it just learned it wasn't hidden for it, it wasn't what it was hidden for. And I feel like we've all been there. We've all been there. Like, <laughs> I'm going to keep going because, you know, I haven't even given too many details. But um, saw these positions was not working. He finally did it in missionary. And I guess hit the spot. But I wasn't ready for that scene. Like, Insecure knows how to switch to them scenes where it's just like, oh, clench my purse. cross. Um... What was funny was when he said, oh, you got um, you got this fan on, it's cold. And she was like, well, you were sweating on me the last time. <laughs> That's something I would do. Don't sweat on me. That's nasty. And it is the security guard. We did come to find out his name is Calvin. So I'm interested to see how he plays a role because I actually like Calvin because he just seems like he's that dude. Um... Issa is sitting down with Condola and there are some flowers on her desk. And, you know, Condola kind of just says, oh, yeah, those are from a guy I was dating that I met at the baby shop. And so Issa's like, wait, there wasn't a lot of guys at the baby shower. So and she's like, oh, yeah, Lawrence and Tiffany still pregnant. I don't know. I do not like Amanda Cialis. So. I don't know why I stopped liking her, but she just bothers me. Um, so again, maybe biased, but she she just seems so fake and so ugh. Um, so she comes and Issa is like, you know, trying to play it off. I feel like Issa's cool with it, but then I don't feel like Issa's cool with it because her and Lo like she still loved Lawrence and tried to get Lawrence back. But it's just not going to work. And, you know, she tried to date old dude. Little sexy chocolate. Um, but it just didn't work. So, you know, she... <laughs> it pans to Issa at the baby shower. Again, so I, I was a little confused. But then it turns into... <laughs> Lawrence having sex with Condola at the baby shower. And they're, like, everywhere she turned, like... She would turn to the couch, they were there. She turned to the window, they were there. She turned to the table, they were there. And then what was the funniest part of that was that she had on the same shirt Issa had on. <laughs> it told him. It told Lawrence, pull them tags. Pull them, pull that price tag off. Now that was shady. So Issa, you know, all this was going through her mind, but it wasn't real. It was just her visualizing it. Um, so then Issa, you know, gets to the, the mixer and y'all, her brother is too funny. And that little neighbor is just like, Ooh, I want your brother. Your brother fine. And she's like, my brother is gay. And she was like, and my son, daddy is gay. Whatever floats your boat, keeps your boat afloat. Um, but they get to the mixer 
Paula Jai White, I think that's her name, yes. She's in this, I love her. Like, I feel like, you know, she got black bald from Hollywood, but I love her. Like, and everything she plays in, like, I feel like she can play a plethora of roles. So I love her, whatever. She's like one of the big sponsors that Issa's trying to get. So Issa's trying to, you know, prove herself. You know, Issa is awkward. So everything Issa does makes you cringe and not in a good way. <laughs> um, so Tiffany, again, um, this is picking up from last season. She's still pregnant. Seems like she may give birth this season. I sure hope so. Um, but she acted like she didn't know that Condola was dating Lawrence. For some reason, I don't believe that. Like, I feel like she's conniving. I feel like she's two-faced. And I feel like she's just fake. Like, so I feel like, oh, we were just going to keep it a secret until it came out. And it came out. Kelly. Our girl. I love Kelly. Kelly is like your homegirl. And, of course, she comes in with the hee-hee-ha-ha. -ha. She's like bartendering, getting people. She's like, baby, we get them drunk. We're going to get these coins, Okay. Because Issa was like, you need to be a little light hand, like light on it. Because we got to make this liquor last all night. She was like, get these people drunk and we're we, we going to have some coins, okay? Um, So comic relief as usual. You love Kelly. She just kind of lightens the mood. She is hilarious. Um. Oh, so every... um. Every season, there's a show within the season. So this season, um, the show is called Finding Latoya. And it looks good. Like, I've been wanting to watch that episode. I've been wanting to watch it. I've been sitting there like, go ahead and run this show for real. So we see Portia's on there, Ray J, um, Cole from Martin. So we see all of those people in there. But this show is going to be running all season. Like, each season it has it. I, I think it's clever and it's pretty cool. And, um, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> at the mixer, Issa's brother starts playing, all your ladies pop that so like this, shake your body, don't stop, don't. I was in the bed like, ow, because, like, that's a bop, like, what? And everybody was just kind of looking around like, and she's like, no, this is not that type of event. But, baby, they should let Kelly keep... Um, being on that bartender duty and I bet it would have been that kind of event yes I just shifted my wig who gonna check me um <laughs> okay and then um you know what every time Lawrence is in the sex scene it just makes me hot and bothered and not because I think he's cute I just think his scenes look so realistic um Cause him and Condola, Condola goes over there after the mixer and um, she opened the door and they started kissing. Then it comes to the scene where she riding him and this, that, and the other. Um, so I'm, I'm curious to see how this relationship between Issa and Condola is going to play out because at the end of the episode, when they did finish the mixer, her and Condola did have like an eye contact situation and they did seem cool. Um, I I don't want to see Issa and Lawrence get back together. I'm over them two as a couple. Um, I really want to get more of Kelly. I would love to get more of Kelly. And so let's jump back into Molly and Issa. And I talk with my hands, y'all. Molly and Issa. For my okay, my first question is: Should um should when you're dating, should you date other people? Comment down below if you feel like when you're dating and you should date other people. Comment like I I want to know your opinion. So when I date, I do like to date one person like until we make it exclusive. Um, it's just because it's too hard to be trying to remember this person, that person, this person, that person. I don't got time and. Yeah. So answer that down below. So do we think Molly is a hate mess? Like, do we? Because I think she is. Like, if Molly's life is going well, then Molly, everything is all good. Um, 
and Molly wants all of the congratulations and all this, that, and the other. But now that Issa is, has found her passion and Issa is doing something that she loves, I don't feel like Molly is giving her the support that she that Issa would give her. And then at the end, when um, Issa, at the end of the mixer, Issa and Molly are talking, and, you know, they start talking about Andrew. And Molly was just like, yeah, and you're, and you're messy. You like mess because Issa and Condola are, you know, like, she was like, no, it's fine. Like, they're dating her and Lawrence. And she was like, you like mess. Me and my friend would have fought. Like, oh, we would have exchanged words. I feel like it did take Issa back to hear that from Molly. Molly, you didn't slept. Close your, close your legs to married men, Abu. Close your legs to marry men because you didn't had a whole ass affair with a whole ass marry man. And guess what? That's messy. Like you didn't have any right, nothing to um, call Issa messy and she likes mess. No, you like mess. And you're miserable. Like, I'm sorry, Molly made me mad. So... Comment down below. Season um season four, episode two tonight. I'm gonna try to watch it tonight and shoot out the video tonight. And I know this one is late because I didn't know. I was like, yeah. Shout out to my line sister, Almizia. Check her out at Almizia on YouTube. She is tech engineer bay. She makes tech engineer look fabulous. Okay, so go check out her channel because she has really been pushing me. She's like, no, do some reviews. So this is for her, um, for pushing me. I love you, boo. Again, go subscribe to her channel. Go learn something you don't know, because I know you don't know it. Thank y'all for watching.